Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, today I have an exciting update regarding TCS MBA hiring for the year of passing 2025 batch, which means for all the candidates who have recently appeared for your uh, TCS MBA hirings, I have some updates for them. So make sure that you watch the video till complete end. As TCS has started sending out the interview calls to candidates who have appeared for TCS MBA hiring test. Selected candidates have received officials emails confirming their shortlisting for the interview round based on their test performance. Now I will be answering your major queries in this video that what uh, like are all the interview emails out or still there are chances or not for the upcoming interviews uh, or results. So make sure that you watch the video till complete end in order to know the answer for all these questions. Before we start the video, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as it really motivates me to bring more such helpful content for all of you. And guys, I just want two things from you guys. Again, if you are finding it helpful, please do write the word helpful in the comments section and do let me know your status. Where are you standing at this point? Are you still waiting for your results or have you already received the email? Okay, moving on. So first of all, let's see what we are going to discuss in this video basically. So in this video, we are going to talk about TCS MBA hiring 2025 results announcements. Then we are going to see interview details and venue, important instructions, tips for interview day. I will also be sharing some interview questions that can be asked. Okay. And if you want a dedicated video on like, you know, interview experience of selected candidates from past years, please do, do let me know the interview preparation video in the comment section. And I will bring interview questions with answers video also very soon. First of all, let's read the email that the candidates have got. Now, these are the two different types of email that the students or the candidates have received. Let's read them. TCS MBA 2025 hiring interview update, interview date, venue, eligibility criteria. Everything is mentioned in this email. Let's see. Dear candidate, greetings from TCS campus selection team. We are happy to inform you that you have been shortlisted for a TCS MBA hiring year of passing 2025 interview basis your test performance. The interview process is planned for 29th of April 2025 at TCS and the location is mentioned okay for the candidate where they have to attend their interview. Your specific interview details like your panel number, reporting times, time slot etc will be sent to you at least a day prior before your interview. Next email let's read this one out MBA test update and interview process information. Dear candidate, we are pleased to inform you that you have been shortlisted for the next stage of our MBA admission process. The schedule for the upcoming steps is as follows, documentation, drive and in-person interview. We kindly request you to confirm your availability for the interview, filling out the Google form attached below, no later than 28th of April, 4 p.m. So guys, I also want to know, let you know that, you know, for the candidates who are from like TCS MBA HR background, because right, like previously last month, uh, Two, not last month, but in April only two hirings has happened. Okay. One was TCS MBA hiring and another was TCS MBA HR hiring. So for HR hirings also, the results are now getting announced and all those candidates who have given those assessments are now getting called for the interviews. I've got a lot of DMs over Instagram who have already like, you know, received the emails for interviews and got selected also. So this is the update for both the candidates, but this email is the first one that you are seeing and these both emails are majorly for TCS MBA hiring and I have no, like I'm not sharing any updates for specifically for HR hiring, but just want to let you know that for that also the results are uh, progressing. Okay, let's see if more important things. So guys, we have seen uh, as mentioned in the email, the interview process is scheduled for 29th of April 2025. The venue is also mentioned according to your location basically specific details like your panel number, reporting time and interview slots will be shared with you one day before your interview date. Please note it will not be possible to change your interview schedule once it is allotted. So make sure that you are preparing in advance and right now is the right time for you to start preparing for your interviews. Make sure to check regularly check your registered email ID for updates and instructions from the TCS campus selection team. Even ch do check your spam folders also because sometimes your email goes into the spam folders and then it will go unnoticed and you might miss the opportunity. So and uh, let's see more details now going forward. So here are some of the tips from my end that what you should do once you go for your interviews for all those candidates who are going for interviews. First thing is you should carry all the necessary documents that is your ID proof, your resume, call letter printout or like uh, whatever the certifications or something that you have, you can carry that also. Although you won't be asked, but whatever the documents that you feel relevant to showcase, you can carry that. Okay. Next is this the venue at least 30 to 40 minutes early because you know you so that you don't uh, like there won't be ad minute hassles basically. Dress formally and professionally revise your MBA subjects and project details that is important because you might get okay you will not get very in-depth questions but very high level questions you can get okay. So you also have you also have to give all the answers confidently and with a smiling face you should not be looking uh, nervous to the interviewer. 
सो प्रिपेयर टू आंसर बेसिक एच आर क्वेश्चन कॉन्फिडेंटली बिफोर योर इंटरव्यू चेक योर ई मेल वन डे बिफोर for the like before you interview for the reporting details and stay calm stay positive and give your best and all the best from my end for you okay now going forward i have taken some of the questions for you to prepare better for your interviews if you want dedicated videos with exact questions and answers that were asked in the tcs mba hiring interviews do let me know in the comment section and i will post more videos related to the interview experiences also for now i have taken some sample questions so that you get to know what kinds of questions you can get in your tcs mba hiring interviews first types of questions we are going to discuss is hr related questions so the questions that you can get is tell me about yourself why did you choose mba after under graduation okay in this type uh, they can ask you question why do you want to join tcs what are your strengths and weaknesses where do you see yourself in 5 years how do you handle stress and pressure describe a challenging situation you faced and how did you handle it are you willing to relocate what are your salary expectations why why should we hire you now guys the salary expectations uh, questions it is very unlikely to be uh, asked because you know you are already like you know interviewing for a specific position and for which the salary is already decided so you won't get this question but again like you know if you get these types of question like are you willing to relocate so always say yes for these types of question never say no because you know they are indirectly checking your mental stability how much you are ready to go beyond your comfort zone for this uh, like you know job no one is going to like you know ship uh, like relocate you as soon as you get the job it is just asked in the interviews to check your mental bandwidth okay you can also get questions like are you ready to work in night shifts and all but it does not it does not mean that they will make you work in night shifts so always say yes and always show your proactiveness to get the job moving on let's see some of the mba or management related questions that can come in your tcs mba hiring interviews explain the difference between leadership and management how would you handle a team conflict what is your specialization can you explain some of the key expect the key concepts related to it for example if you have done your mba in marketing finance hr operations and and analytics that you can get questions around that area what is swot analysis can you do a quick swot of yourself how would you manage a project under tight deadline tell us about a marketing finance hr strategy that you have learned recently what are the latest trends in your domain marketing finance hr etc now guys i would give you one tip for answering all these types of question doesn't matter be it from mba background from hr background you know you should never think that you know i will answer on the go for the interview questions and you know that is the major mistake that the candidates do before their interviews they usually don't prepare for interviews at all they prepare a lot for the online assessments for the assessments before that but they do not prepare at all for the interviews because some students or candidates feel that you know if we will prepare then it might sound that we have already learned the answers and we it will sound you know a very bookish that we are telling the exact answer which we have learned but guys it is not like so you will be short of points if you don't prepare well for example let me tell you like you know one question for example this one what are your strengths and weaknesses now if you have not prepared at all at all for your interviews so at that time you will take time like you know in your interview when you get this question you will take time to think of the strengths and weaknesses that gives a very negative impression right see you have to manage it very cleverly that you have to showcase them for like 4 to 5 seconds that you are you are thinking about your strengths and weaknesses but in your mind you should be prepared from your home only that whenever i i get this question what is my strength that i have to say and what is the weakness that i have to say okay and guys if you are not like you know aware what to speak let me know in the comment section i will bring a upcoming video with the answers of these questions also so that you get to know how you can answer in your interviews so i hope like you are getting the crux of what i am trying to say here is always be prepared about for the pointers at least not for the entire answer then at least for the pointer okay and always have your introduction ready very well because based on your introduction only you will get more and more questions some of the behavioral question or star method type question that you can get is give an example of you showed leadership basically in this one you have to tell a real life example from your life now that answer does not in, uh, like you know it is not mandatory to include a real life answer basically you have to say it in this way that you are saying it from your real life but that is the main important point that you can even take a story and show it is in this way that is that it has happened in your real life what was your learning from it and how did you if there was any problem how did you overcome or something okay describe a situation where you failed what did you learn share an example of time you worked in a team to achieve a goal so these are some of the behavioral types of questions which can be asked to you and the best way to answer these types of questions is to share a real life story or real life incident when you have came across this scenario now that real life scenario is not mandatorily be to be like you know exactly happened but no one knows if it has happened in your life or not 
but if you say it in this way it gives a very good impression in the in front of the interviewer they understand your confidence skills uh, like confidence level and your skills of speaking so that is why it is important okay so before we close the videos some important points that is you should be prepared with your resume mention about your projects if you had any your internship details if you have like done any in your under graduation post graduation anything your practical experiences if you have taken if any course or any certification that you have done you have to mention that in your resume basic business awareness like your current affairs in business technology based question you should be aware about all of that and for example if you are getting a question of which we have absolute if you have absolute no idea like zero idea about it you can politely say that for like uh, i right now i don't have any idea about this so they will just move on to the next question don't worry about that instead of wasting time it is also a good of, like practice to overcome that question and move on to the next one but that's why i'm saying the interviews are not going to be that tough it is majorly going to be like you know your major focus will be on hr questions and will be they will be checking your confidence level and guys let me tell you for those candidates who will receive the interview email and who will enter this uh, like you know attend the interviews there is like 80% chances that they are already shortlisted okay if you like do not say anything then only they will reject you mostly they usually don't reject from the interviews but yeah so this was to give you some like you know uh, hint that how they usually select the candidates so mostly whoever get shortlisted for interviews mostly they get the job okay okay so i have tried to cover everything in this video if you have any more question please do let me know in the comment section you can join me on my telegram channel you can also follow me on instagram and you can ask your customized queries over instagram dm2 make sure to subscribe to the channel as it is really important because whenever i upload a new video you will get the latest notification about it and guys not just this uh, i regularly upload off campus drives also on my channel you can see and today also i have uploaded a video where mba freshers are eligible that is from icici there is an opening which is currently going on make sure to apply for that if you haven't checked that video so guys that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time